Welcome to Church of the Chair, where butt stuff isn't just for terrestrials. I'm your host E, and today we're talking about toilet nightmares. If you're new around here, I need to give you a warning. I will be spoiling all of Stephen King's books in this series, so if you haven't read all of them, I suggest you click away now. You've been warned. Today, we're talking about Dreamcatcher by Stephen King. The majority of this video is going to be a course correction. I made several mistakes in the original theorist video for Dreamcatcher, and I even made the same mistakes in my Redux video for IT. And the original IT video, the original Tommyknockers video, it's just a thing that I have been saying since I started this series, and I need to correct it now. And I didn't catch it until I went back and I looked at the comments from the original Dreamcatcher video, and I saw all of this. I of course was incorrect and these people are correct that Pennywise Lives is not spray painted on the dock the docking area of Tracker Brothers yes Patrick I got it right this time it's not Tractor Brothers um, I misspeak all the time anyone who's been a fan of the channel for a while knows that but yes it is Tracker Brothers and not Tractor Brothers uh, it is not spray painted there where it where Pennywise lives is spray painted is on the plaque at the Losers Club plaque on the standpipe. And even though everyone corrected me, there was still debate about where exactly it was spray painted on the standpipe. If it was spray painted on the plaque, if it was spray painted on the standpipe itself. So I'm not the only person who got it wrong. And my buddy Pat Costin is a very literal person person so when I said in the original video that uh, the ass weasels had shark like teeth he had to correct me for that one also it is a shark eyes and needle like teeth the reason I bring that up is because I said that these creatures the creatures in Dreamcatcher the greys are the same kind of creature that Pennywise was and we're going to talk about that a little bit more here in a minute once I actually get on to the theories but if you remember when Adrian Mellon is killed in it there's a huge chunk bitten out of his armpit and the coroner or the medical examiner brings up how the teeth are needle like not shark like so thank you again for correcting me Patrick I don't mind being wrong and I appreciate it when people correct me as long as they're respectful about it and you're always respectful about it, so thank you. If you haven't watched my Redux videos or the original videos for It, Tommyknockers, and Dreamcatchers, here's my theory about the Greys. When Pennywise introduces himself to Georgie Denbro before he kills him, he introduces himself as Pennywise the Dancing Clown or Mr. Bob Gray. In Dreamcatcher, the aliens are referred to as Greys. Duddits even refers to one of them as Mr. A, which is Mr. Grey. To further tie in this theory, as I was talking about with the teeth just a second ago, both Pennywise and the aliens from Dreamcatcher both have the same kind of teeth bite mark so on and so forth. Now, is Pennywise a gray? I'm going to go a little bit deeper here than I have in the entirety of this series, both the original series and the Redux series, and give a little more background information on Pennywise. The turtle, Maturin, M-A-T-U-R-I-N, I believe is how it's spelled, vomited up the world. Well, the turtle was not the only being that existed in the void. Pennywise, or the entity known as It, existed at the same time before the world was created. And they are, this has been confirmed by King, and it is also in It that these two are brothers. Pennywise and Maturin are exact opposites. Maturin is more passive, he is off living his best life, if you will, and he helps the Losers Club defeat, supposedly defeat It, or Pennywise, in the novel It. Now, of course, Pennywise is the exact opposite of Maturin. He is not good. He is an evil presence. He also picks on Maturin at one point in time, calling him befuddled and a, a bunch of other insults. It was quite a funny section when I read it again. Now, another person commented, I could not find the comment, but I seem to remember it, that what if Pennywise isn't a gray, 
but greys are Pennywise, as in Pennywise was the first of his species, and we crash landed here just like the Tommyknockers crash landed here, just like the greys in Dreamcatcher crash landed here, and to some extent, even the creature in Grey Matter. They all have the same kinds of powers. They're able to reach into people's minds, whether it be Tommyknockers, the Greys, Pennywise, and then you have the creature from Grey Matter, which is a shapeshifter. All that is to say, this is what ties my entire theory together, and the, the ship in the Tommyknockers, its radiation or its area of effect is why so many people in Maine, because King bases most of his stories in Maine, why most of them have psychic abilities because the same thing happens to the residents of Haven in the Tommyknockers. So I hope that clears up any confusion for anyone who has watched this series so far and is like, wait, how do these three books tie into the entirety of the series and, and explain your entire theory? Hopefully that makes more sense now. Now onto some theory comments. Seth here brought up something that I like. I like it quite a bit. Uh, that would be to tie in the Langoliers. Pennywise is an eater of worlds, if you'll remember that line. And the Langoliers do what? They eat time. So I like this, and we will go into it more in depth when we get to... Which one is it? When we get to 4 past midnight. Next up, we have this comment from Serap Hazel. If I got your name wrong, I apologize. But this one here just further confirms... At least I feel. None of this has been confirmed by King, but further confirms my theory. You can pause to read the entire comment if you want. But that's all the time I have for you today. If I missed anything, if you have yet more corrections for anything I said, I'm laughing, but I, I do this quite a bit. I get screwed up, I misspeak, or I just get things completely wrong. And I find it funny how often I do it if I don't pick on myself. Then, then, you know, I just get away with it. So I'm picking on myself. That's the only reason I'm laughing. Please do correct me if I get something wrong is what I'm saying. Or if you have theories of your own, let me know down there in the comments section. But until next time, I'll hail the chair. Nano, nano.